and it's just actually doing the first half. I stand on stage to perform by the speaker. Before, I was the lead club member, and also I was the coffee maker inside of our school, the Shinshan Coffee Shop. But today, I want to talk something about coffee. So, we all know that recently there is a Chinese company called Lucky was forced to delist from NASDAQ. And it is actually for us, it is actually incomprehensible for us to understand why such a big company who were hired a few months ago but now were forced to delist and even bankruptcy. So, if you major in economic, we all, uh, the economic students, will actually have already studied about the problem. The basic problem was actually um, a lot of people uh, was actually um, the, 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 it was actually mainly due to the large operating experience in the early age and also because of their project lines is not quite stable. But today, I'm not here to talk about economic, but I want to talk about something more specific. I want to talk about the product, coffee. So first, what is coffee? Coffee is kind of a beverage. It's just a kind of drink. Just like tea, milk tea, and also maybe cola. Here, they're all the drink. But comparing with tea, milk tea, we all, we all love to drink milk tea, right? And, uh, but when you look at milk tea, milk tea was actually made from tea. And for tea, there are actually many types inside of the tea. If you want to divide them into, we can actually divide them into four parts, maybe green tea, we want to pour it, and also black tea. And if you want to divide the green tea, you will get mountain, mountain, yuotra. All these are the type of tea. Mountain is, mountain is tea. Green tea is also a kind of tea. So, that's the same for coffee. There are two types, two main types of coffee beans in China in the world right now. One is Arabica and another one is Robaca. We do not actually consume the Arabica um, recently because uh, it has so less consumptions in the world, so we will not come back. So for Robaca, we all know that Robaca is um, have a great flavor and it's rich in fat and have a high coffee. And also, it is easy to grow. So it is, but it has a special flavor that smells quite bad when you're trying to make it into a cup of coffee, like make it into a special coffee. So we do not actually use it for a special coffee, but we use robusta for the instant coffee, full coffee. So. The Robusta coffee, the Robusta coffee beans only took about 23% of coffee beans in the world. So what's left? 75% of Arabica coffee. So Arabica coffee, that sounds... You may hear about this world in some places, and I can show you. This is actually a picture, an image I took from the local website. And you can see, they said, we were using the high quality of Arabica coffee beans. Arabic coffee beans. We all know that Arabic coffee beans was used for fresh coffee in the world. If you, want, if you don't want to use a Arabica coffee, you will need to use Robusta coffee. But Robusta coffee is mainly used for instant coffee. So if not, 
are you going to use Robusta coffee beans to make a fresh brand coffee? No. It's actually a lie. You're cheating on the Chinese consumer. So it's just like you were telling people, Gomer, that sounds ridiculous, right? But they're saying that you know, when making high quality coffee using Arab the, the Arabic coffee bean. So if you want to really divide it and you really want to classify what is coffee, coffee can actually be classified by the region, plantation, and the rotating technique. So, for example, if we are trying to classify the coffee by the producing areas, such as the very famous one, Mandela, Mantui. Mantui is a very famous coffee base. If you want to say where does Mantua came from, we can actually say that it just came from Sumatra, Sumatra, Mandarin, and the car plantation. It's just the same as the West Lake Longjin. Really implanted. That's just the same. You can also say chain implanted. And also, if you want to divide in the street type, you can actually get Geisha and also Burger. It's really huh? It's really huge. 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 It's really the French bean coffee nowadays and abandoned any sort of coffee. But when I was seeing this kind of data, I actually saw the future. 0 0.05 kilogram nowadays we consume right now. Doesn't mean that we will still consume 0 0.05 kilogram in the next 20 years. 16% accounts of the total right now doesn't mean that it will be only 16% in the next 20 years. Between 200, 250, 215 and 280, the, the, total, China, the total Chinese consumption doubled from 4.2 cups per person to 6.2 cups per person. Coffee consumption in China is growing at a rate of average annual rate of 15%, much faster than the world's 2% in annual growth rate. So, for, for the coffee maker like me, I mean, I was the freshman of uh, making coffee by myself. But when I heard that some people get in going to go into my coffee shop and told me that please give me a cup of cappuccino and add some ice. I mean I was totally confused. Because cappuccino is only made for coffee. I mean if you don't understand the things I told. I mean, that's okay. Because for you, because for we, because for Chinese people, 1.4 billion Chinese people, we don't know about the coffee. But I think in the future, more people will get to know not only about the XMG and also the NAS coffee. They will know more about Gaja. No more about the rewarder wash and no more about the job natural. I mean in the future we want to put the fresh roof coffee into the world and inside of China. And let more people to accept it. I'm called a coffee maker. Thank you for watching.